Ooh, I did it. Welcome back, guys. Episode 43. I don't even have to yell anymore. I forgot I have this mic. Welcome back, guys. Episode 43. One, two, three, four. So last week, you guys might remember that I got a new microphone. And uh, yeah, it looks like I'm not wearing it because it was annoying when I had it here. So now I feel like a secret agent and I'm wearing a wire. I, I concealed it. That's kind of fun, I, I think. I just switch between microphones when I feel like I want a different vibe. So this is gonna be when I want to kind of talk more um, and not have as much ambient sound. But for this week, last week I finished up these countertops. This one is like done done besides for filling in the cracks with some wood filler. These need some repair. As you guys remember last week also, this countertop fell off the table outside and the little uh, finishing strip piece I had on there cracked off. I need to fix the drawer slide up here, fix the drawer slide down there. And then I wanna put the sink faucet in and get these countertops all sanded out and good to go. And then I get a lot of mixed review on the two divider walls. Some people love them and some people hate them. Personally, I really like them and they're gonna stay because, well, it's my boss and I like them. So I'm gonna keep them. With that being said, these walls are not gonna be painted. They're not gonna be white or wood or anything like that. They're actually gonna get wallpaper on them. So I have to pick out the wallpaper that I want. I wanna do some sort of tropical theme because I think it's gonna fit, it's gonna fit really nicely with like the finish of the countertops and the white with cane webbing for the two upper cabinets. Also, I wanna get these sanded out and painted so I don't have to worry about that. And then I don't have to worry about getting paint on my wallpaper. This week's really kind of a week of tying up loose ends. So those are some of the smaller things I wanna get done this week for sure. It's starting to get really warm out here. So first thing, much better. All right, let's get to work. These drawers have been causing me a whole lot of problems. That one two by two, it just isn't in the right position. This two by two over this way slightly. And then this one, I've gotten it to work, but in order for it to engage, you really have to push it all the way to the back, like slam it back. So I'm gonna try and sand the two by two that's behind that because I do think now that that's the problem. Oh, yeah. good stuck there we go so the problem I'm having with this bottom one is that two by two all the way in the back there protrudes just a little bit too much I don't know what to do sander's gonna be tough to get in there the jigsaw is not gonna work because it's the blade is gonna be too long I decided to go the route of using a chisel to try and just chisel away a little bit of that wood Yes! Yeah! Woo! Sweet! We got it. We did it. Whew, finally! Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead, get the vacuum, vacuum up all these wood chips, vacuum all that up, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing for that one there, because I'm having the exact same problem with that one. <laughs> I hate clutter so much, like that's one of my biggest pet peeves. So you guys can imagine how annoying it's been working out here while there's so much clutter. I know you guys haven't seen the floor in a really long time. And most of you have probably forgotten what it even looks like. Or if you guys have joined later in this journey and didn't watch the first set of videos, you wouldn't even know that I have a hardwood floor in here. But look at this. Like, just look at how beautiful. <laughs> like, it's just, it's gorgeous. It really, I love the floor. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's so beautiful. Moving over to this one, we're having the same problem, but they're higher up than the ones were over there. So I think I might be able to just take the top uh, of this off. There we go. Oh, yeah. Woo. Yep. Just 
just as I thought. It works perfect now. All right. All in another quarter's day work. <laughs> it's a new day, guys. The birds are chirping and the sun is back out. Yesterday it rained. Uh, it looks like there's gonna be rain again tomorrow, unfortunately. I do need to trim this back area just a little bit on here. I would like to get the hole cut out for the sink faucet here. And then I have to fill in these cracks here with a little bit of putty. I wanna sand these out as well. I ordered the wallpaper. Unfortunately, it won't be until Saturday. I really wanted to get the wallpaper done this week, but that's not gonna happen. It'll get done next week. So let's get right into the day. Before I mess up my actual good countertop, I'm gonna try on a test piece first. Look at that. We're like right in the middle. So before I go to Lowe's to get more wood filler, I have a couple things of wood filler here. So I'm gonna try these wood fillers first and see if they'll color match at all. This might color match because I remember it having a red tint to it. I'm gonna let these dry up and see which one, if either of them are gonna color match or not. I'm gonna put that aside for now and I'm gonna move on to the divider walls. Hit it with that 240 and get it nice and baby smooth. Pretty incredible. Oh my God, that's so smooth. One down, one more to go. We got them nice and silky smooth. Oh, I love, it just feels so good, oh my God. Obviously there's quite a bit of dust on them, so I'm gonna blow them off real quick with the uh, air compressor. This one here is the, uh, the white oak filler, and then this one is that natural filler. So this is way too light, and this is like pretty good. So I'm gonna grab that other countertop, I'm gonna fill in those cracks, and then we'll move on from this. That's gonna wrap up today and I'll catch you all tomorrow. All right, you know what this means. Painting clothes are on. We're gonna get to painting. We're gonna paint these tops uh, white, which is gonna color match the cabinets that we built, those upper cabinets. This means that paint for the whole kitchen it's coming up really soon. And honestly, I really like painting. Um, I like painting a lot more than building, if I'm being completely honest. And next week, we're starting the electrical because I ordered most of the stuff that I need. And my brother has some free time next week to help me out. So we are gonna be doing that and getting that rolling and trying to get that done in the next few weeks, all of that done in the next few weeks. All right, and that's that. The first coat is done on both of the tops of these divider walls. So I'm gonna let it dry up. It's Saturday, I have to finish editing the video for the week and I'll catch up with you guys next week when we really start tying this thing together. We're gonna be working on electrical next week, doing the finishing touches on the kitchen. We're gonna wallpaper these walls. We're really moving next week. I have help from my brother, like I said, so he's gonna be working on a lot of the electrical while I do some other odds and ends. I'm gonna do filming of both of them combine them into videos. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because once the bus is done, we're getting into really 
fun, exciting videos too. Just one second, leave a like on the video. It would mean a lot to me. Apparently, it gets your videos more discovered. And I want to be more discovered. So, that'd be awesome. Thank you. I appreciate you if you did that. And without further ado, I'll catch you next week. Peace.